how to open up an account and create and purchase a VPS server. Basically, what you want to do, you want to click on the link and you will actually open up this web page. You want to scroll down and go to more info. Because this is what you want the virtual private server. Click on more info. Once you click on more info, you want to come to this page and you scroll down and you want to choose two slices. Once you choose two slices, you're going to click on buy now. Okay, what you want to do, you don't have an account, so you want to sign up. And then you want to put your email address here, your password here. And I agree, then create new account. Once you create new account, go to your email account that you use to sign up, activate it, and then log in. Okay, next, once you log in, I'm actually going to log into my account. Once you log into your account, it will take you straight here. All right. This is what you want to do. Seeing that you already have a name cheap account, you purchase your domain. Okay. We're going to act like you already have that. You want to leave this alone. And you want to leave this alone. And you want to go here and choose two slices. Leave that alone. Want to go here and do this, and you want to on a monthly cycle, and you want to choose yes. I want a C panel, keep it on no, and then you want to put your host name here. You'll be server dot your domain that you purchase dot com or info or whatever you bought from Namecheap um, domain okay once you do that then you want to create a root password that is very very easy to remember for yourself okay make sure you write it down and put it in a in a good place because this is what you're going to need to log into your WHM or your cPanel pretty much your WHM that's what you're going to use then a coupon code, which is save money. Okay. And it's going to be 16 bucks for the first month. After that, it's $22 for the first month. Make sure you put your, coup your uh, root password here. All right. It's going to tell you what type of characters you need. And then you click continue. They say I already used that coupon code. Okay, purchase. Okay. You can't use the coupon code because I already used it. You're going to just click on continue. And then you can either do a credit card or do PayPal. And then also, once you get all this information, you need to send your information to email power system at gmail.com email power system at gmail.com I need your entire inner server.net logins okay so I can log in and do what I have to do to connect your bulk mailer 